What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get to Ecrotech City, but along the way, we actually completed a few things, you know, gave a, a Spearow with mail to a buddy, uh, got to show Togepi to Professor Elm, and got an Everstone, got to capture a Pseudo Wudo, you know, that's always good, and uh, we got to meet Bill! told us that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are helping the storage system, trade systems, and all that stuff. So, anywho, we're here in Ecrotech City in all its glory, and now what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be going straight to the Burnt Tower. Now, you can't go anywhere, well, you can't go to the gym just yet because the gym leader's going to be up there. And, uh, well, before we do anything over at the Burnt Tower, we're going to be going here. Let's see if this guy has, uh, let's see, this happened when I was young. The sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying bird Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It was like a bird and like a dragon. Hmm. I wonder what kind of Pokemon we're talking about here. Is there really a Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. It might be. So, once you get into Ecrotech City, you're going to start seeing a little bit of uh, the folklore of legendary Pokemon. In Pokemon... What was it? Gar Gold, silver, and crystal. This is where legendary s kind of legendary cer central Pokemon stories are, you know, it, it takes place. That's where it starts. And, you know, it all starts with the legendary Pokemon right here. The, 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 the bird Pokemon, or not the bird Pokemon, but uh, the legendary roaming Pokemon. The legendary beast, I should say. Oh, that's a nice Pokemon you're walking with. They make you feel uplifted, don't they? They give us a lot of hope of light to uh, speak so. Well, speaking of light, I heard something about Lighthouse in Olivine. Pokemon that serves as the beacon has fallen ill. Sounds like it's in trouble. Hmm. It's another thing that you can actually find. And let's see. If you go into this house right here, where the hell? Okay, so we're going to go right here. Talk to this guy. Ah, you're on an adventure with the, your Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? Yes, you're right. Good, you understand true spirit of adventure. I feel like that. I, f I like that. Th take this with you. And we get ourselves the dowsing machine, which will actually help us with locating hidden items. There aren't many, uh, or there are many items lying about uh, that aren't obvious. Touch the dowsing machine for a while to see if it makes a high, pri uh, high pitched noise. When it does, you know there is uh, an item near you. Walking as you, uh, as you use it, make it easy uh, to find items. Oh yeah, I heard that there were, uh, there are items in Ecrotech, uh, Burn Tower. Okay. Alrighty, so that is that right there. And, let's see, there is something else that we can do right here. We're gonna take care of the other stuff later on. Let's see, I'm going to rehearse Dance Theater. Okay, yes, I would. Uh, okay, so, Dance Theater's right here, that's next episode. And, well, we're going to be going straight to the Burnt Tower because there is something going on right there. Now, talk to this girl right here. She's like, the tower used to be here. I heard that it used to be much taller before it got burnt by fire. Okay, so, Lexi, the Burnt Tower destroyed by mysterious fire. Please stay away. It is unsafe. Okay, alrighty. I like danger. Danger is my middle name. And here it is, the burnt tower, looking all burnt and everything with the reticade and, uh, what is that down there? Hmm. What is that down there? I do not know. Okay, so, as you probably already noticed, here we have Yusin. He's like, my name is Yusin. I'm on a trail of the Pokemon named Suicune. And you are Draven? Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is here, so I came to look. Take a look around. Uh, take a look at the basement through the hole in the floor. There, Suicune is down there. I could go downstairs, but I, I know, like, but I know it would run away in no time. I know. I have tried. I've tried it many times. Really, you have. And if you take a look at this guy, he's like, my name is Morty. I am the Ecotech gym leader. Because my old friend Yusin is here on the trail of Suicune, I decided to investigate the Burnt Tower. Ecotech was a uh, has a legend about these uh, legendary Pokemon. Suicune, Entei, and Rakao. As the gym leader of the Ecotech, I must have a proper understanding of it. Oh, you don't say. And, well, would you look at that. It's our good old buddy, Silver. Oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon to make yourself look strong. That is only a dream. 
You see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me who has sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with uh, Team Rocket Grunts is just just right for you. Really? Okay, alrighty, so he's asking for it. He wants all this smoke. He's gonna get all this smoke. So, here we go. Rival Silver wants the battle again. He's coming out with his Ghastly. And luckily for me, I do have Toxic Batman right here, ready to kick some ass. Look at that. Transparent ass kicked. And, of course, we're getting a lot of points. So, he's gonna come out with a Magnemite. So, let's go with Cinder right here. And burn some people. Melt this uh, Cinder, or this Magnemite. Here we go, Flame Wheel for the win. Suck on those lemons, Magnemite. And he's gonna be coming out with Croconaut, so I got something for his ass. Let's go with Fluff Vault. Alrighty. And this guy's a little stronger than usual, but I do have my thunder, uh, my thunder Shock move. Ready to kick some butt again, and why are you making, why are you making it slow if we're already slower than you? I wanna know that. And here we go again, another scary face attack. And Croconaut is no more. Look at that. Gaining levels. And he's coming out with a Zubat. Mm, you know what? I'm going to stick by and do the Flood Bolt because it's about to turn to level 21. And yes, that's what happens when you bite the Flood Bolt. You get paralyzed. Didn't feel good, right? And look at that. Shell Bell and level 21. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm not fighting another weakling ever again. Don't want to read that quickly. Oh, whatever. You would never be able to, uh, to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Wow, this guy is just like me. He's got like a huge stick up as you know what. He does. A huge one. Like bigger than, I don't know, bigger than a stick. I don't even know. Uh, okay, so before we go downstairs, we're going to be battling a few trainers and quite a few Pokemon right here. Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, you can actually capture some Pokemon here. Coughing, Rattata, even Ghastly, I think. And I want to say Magmar. You can actually find Magmar here. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a, what was it, a version exclusive or anything like that, but you would be able to find one right here. So here we go, Fire Breather Ned wants the battle. And, uh, well, we're going to be wing attacking this Pokemon. Let's go. Coughing dies. Oh, it's about to grow to level 23, so let's go one more time. Wing attack for the win, and here we go. Toxic Batman gives it its stuff. Yeah, buddy. And look at that. Level 23. And he's going to be coming out with a Growlithe, so let's go with Lucky right here. Now, I did read in a comment somewhere that... We need Lucky to get a little more loving since, you know, it didn't exactly win the Elite of the Pokemon League in Pokemon Crystal. I'm gonna try and do that with this guy right here. Changing it up, and god dang, I'm a little burnt. And here we go. Water Gun does its trick. There we go. That's a good boy, Lucky. And that is that, and look at that! <laughs> we kept it happy! Yeah, buddy! Toxic Batman is evolving once again. So, I'm two for two right here, guys. Two for two. Golbat evolves a level after its first evolution. And look at that. We got ourselves Crobat, a very, very powerful Pokemon. And Mama's calling us again, so we got to answer that. And as many of you guys already know, she's going to be saying the same thing over and over again. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to Crobat here. And it is happy to see us. It's glowing with its health. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon, Crobat. And we've had it since level 2 and everything. Strongly Defiant. As you can see, Poison and Flying type Pokemon. Its strong point is its speed. And everything else is pretty much balanced except for its special attack. It does have Inner Focus, which will keep it from uh, flinching and all that stuff. But it does have some pretty good moves right here. Did train them up pretty well. So now, we're going to be focusing on some other Pokemon right here, like Fluffolt, because, uh, yeah, it needs that. And, uh, hold on just a sec. I have a Pokemon that uh, needs to get uh, taken care of with the Burnt. I don't think I have a, yeah, I don't have, I don't have a healing item for that one right there, because we're broke! And here we found ourselves an Antidote. Always fun to find one of those, and here we have another Pokemon attacking us, which is always fun. And that happens to be Rattata right there, so let's get the heck out of here. And here's Homeboy, ready to attack. 
He's like, I'm practicing my fire breathing in the burnt tower. Don't try this at home. Okay, we're ready. Do not try this at home. So here we go. Richard wants the battle. He's got himself Charmeleon. And, well, let's go with the Thundershock right here. Alrighty, Thundershock for the win. And look at that. Paralysis. You gotta love the paralysis. Not on me, though. Look at that. And, oh, God, we're restoring everything. And, God dang it, burnt. Okay, so I got two Pokemon that are burnt. That's, that's ridiculous right there. And, you gotta love the Shell Bell. And, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, I gotta get away from any of these uh, Pokemon that might attack me, but, too late. We gotta eradicate. Level 15. Wow. Still faster than our Pokemon right there. And, well, I gotta switch out my Pokemon because it's burnt. And, uh, you know what? Hercules. Let's go, Hercules. And, uh, let's see. Okay, so there's some items right here that we can actually, or rocks that we can break. And thankfully, I did teach Togepi Rock Smash. So there we go. Rock Smash for the win. And look at that. We got ourselves an HP up, which I will be selling for a little bit of money because, trust me, guys, we, we, we use our money way too quickly all the time. And look at that. Raditas attacking us. Like always, Hercules looking almighty. That's right. And again, we're getting attacked. God dang. And look at that. Coughing, looking like a coughing right there. Ready. Okay, so let's move on right here. We're gonna get attacked by Pokemon. I'm singing because I can. And again, another Rattata attacking us because we're very vulnerable. We forgot to buy repels because we're broke. Broke as can be. Okay, so come on, let us through. This make this. This is what makes these uh, episodes entertaining. Okay, so. None of that. We're going downstairs right here. And, well, take a look at that. Three legendary beasts. They notice us. And they just skedaddle right here. They just run. Look at that. Oh, wow. And then Suicune right here stands right in front of us, looks at us, and runs away. And just like that, you see it's like, did you see it? Suicune raced like a blur right in front of our, in my eyes. I have been chasing Suicune for almost 10 years, but I've never been this close. I'm all choked up. By the way, it was clear to me that Suicune took a notice of your presence. Ecrotech legendary Pokemon are said to come uh, to people only when they recognize their talents. Perhaps I should be more aggressive towards Suicune. Anyways, Draven, we will meet again. Hmm, okay. Well, my talents, huh? Because it recognizes my talents. And look at that, we found ourselves a, uh, an antidote. That was just me, like, winging it right there. Okay, so that is that. We don't have strength right now, guys. So we're going to be getting the heck out of here because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon that want to attack us. Don't want to battle any of them. I really don't. Okay, so let's get up there. Get her up and... Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so I was about to go down and then go back down. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see, uh, we got another coffin right here. Coffin's looking at me all cockeyed and everything, wanted me to capture it, but I will capture it. I'll screen and all that stuff. Alrighty, so we're out of here. And after you do that, there's gonna be an old man that appears right there. Talk to him, and he's like, In the distant past, when the tower burnt in a, in a fire, three nameless Pokemon perished in it. Then, a rainbow-hued Pokemon descended from the sky and somehow brought them back. The people were afraid of power such as the rainbow-hued Pokemon had shown. They tried to control it by force. The, the nameless Pokemon made no attempt to fight back. Instead, their great sorrow compelled them to leave. This legend has been passed down by Ecrotet Gym Leader. Me? I was a trainer way back when. Ho <laughs> ho Obviously, he probably was the Gym Leader back then. It's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. And you guys... We've completed the first part of the Ecrotech City, uh, you know, tour right here. The next episode, we will be coming back and we will be facing the Kimono Girls because we got a lot of stuff to take care of right there. They've been waiting for us for quite some time. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.